George Matthews with you on Inside the Islanders. Guesting with us today, Ryan Graves, number 27 of the Charlottetown Islanders, six foot four, 220 pounds. He's got NHL blue line size. And this week, Ryan, uh, a pretty good announcement for your career, obviously, where you, in fact, get named to the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League All-Star Team, the Super Subway Series against the Russian National Junior Team. An honor for yourself and as well an honor for the Charlottetown Islanders organization. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely a huge honor to be selected to play for that team and uh, go play against world-class talent. Now, of course, in this past summer, you got drafted to enter the National Hockey League by the New York Rangers. We're going to talk about that, but uh, moving by that, at least for the moment, uh, next on the list must have been a focus of being involved in this tournament. Uh, yeah, well, I wasn't really thinking too much about it, but uh, it's definitely in the back of my mind. I've seen the coaches were announced, and then uh, I wasn't really getting my hopes up, but it's definitely uh, I'm definitely excited to be on the team. Now, this is not going to be your first adventure into international play, of course. Uh, you represented Atlantic Canada in the under-17s. You saw that experience, and you went through that. It was certainly, it would be a positive, uh, uh, you know, opportunity for you to play in that tournament. This is another step, though. Yeah, definitely. The under-17s, uh, that's uh, a lot of kids do that, and it's a great growing experience, and uh, you get an international experience, but uh, I'm really looking forward to the Subway Series. And this year, what do you expect from a team like the Russians? Uh, just uh, a lot of speed, probably not, probably not overly physical, but that's what I got to be is physical, and uh, uh, maybe they'll be intimidated easily, so uh, just do what I do and uh, be a shutdown D and physical on my own end. This has uh, been a big year for you, uh, obviously, with this announcement, rather this announcement this week, but as well, when you take a look at the last year, it's your draft year, uh, and of course you were drafted uh, this past summer by the New York Rangers in the, in the fourth round. Uh, take us through the last season as far as your focus of being drafted in the National Hockey League, and perhaps even closer to that final week, what it was like going through the experience of, uh, of being interviewed, talking to scouts, and so on. Yeah, I had a few interviews with teams, and uh for every kid that's draft eligible, it's definitely a, a lot of pressure that year and a lot of pressure to play good, but you just got to concentrate on every game one by one and, and make sure you're working hard off the ice and, and putting in your extra work after practice and it'll all pay off. Now, you were a fourth-round pick by the Rangers. Were you in discussions with them before they drafted you? Yeah, I had a meeting with them. Uh, Dan came here and watched our practice, watched a few of our games, and uh, um, our meetings were really positive with them, so I was really happy to go to their, their organization. Ryan, when you look at your career, and it's a young career at this particular point, uh, being drafted by the Rangers, as we say in that fourth round, but a couple of years prior to uh, this NHL draft, you were drafted uh, ninth overall in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League by the, by the Rocket, the PEI Rocket. And when you were a top-end pick, there's always expectations that, in fact, you have a successful career. But that takes time, in fact, for a career to be unfolded here. Yeah, it was definitely a lot of pressure that first year. And uh, being ninth overall, I'm... Um I felt the pressure a little bit, but um, I just knew that uh, I just had to keep working and keep improving every day, and um, I knew it would pay off for me in the end. How have you seen your, in fact, your career improve here over the last couple of years, especially this last year? Yeah, definitely. In my first year, I was nervous. Uh, I wasn't a great skater. I was a little bit out of shape, and uh, I worked hard that year with Gordy and uh, working on my foot speed and, and getting in shape and then putting in work on the off season during the summer, and uh, I've come a long way, I think. What about the Islanders club this season? You started out very quickly, uh, currently at 10-5 and won three games this weekend, but you've lost three in a row right now. A bit of a pothole situation or a speed bump, but you've got off to a quick start. Overall, your assessment of, of your hockey club here? We have a really talented young group here. Um, we got it off to a red hot start and uh, we've, we've been on a little bit of a slide lately, but uh, we're going to snap out of it. The exciting part, of course, is that this team is very young. Yeah, we have a lot of young talent. We're we're a young team, but uh, with that being said, we're, we're a mature team, and uh, we're going to snap out of this slide and uh, get right back on track. Now, of course, in the last week or so, GM Grant Sonier has acquired some toughness. He's acquired a couple of players here. Not that this club is going to initiate in that type of, in that type of game, but it's, it's nice to have those guys in the lineup in case you have to respond. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you're not going to be going out there looking for it, but it's nice to have it, uh, have it there when you need it. And uh, i got two new guys with Spence and Mike, and, uh, and they're going to bring a lot to this hockey club. Now, of course, playing the blue line, uh, you always take a look at your, your plus minuses and you're on the ice a lot. When you look at your goaltending situation here in Charlottetown right now with Broussard and Bebeau, they're number two and three in the entire Quebec Major Junior Hockey League in save percentage. It's nice to, to play in front of that type of goaltending. Yeah, it definitely takes the pressure off you. That Just, uh, just to know that if you make a mistake that those two are going to be back there to bail you out and they do game in, game out, and they're solid every game and they give us a chance to win.
Now, when we talk about the young players as well in this franchise right now, uh, as we say, some of the best players are the younger younger players. But when you've got uh, guys like Kylie Cameron, Sprong, Goulet, uh, they continue to score. That's a huge plus for this club. Yeah, we uh, acquired Cam in the offseason. He's helped us out a lot. And uh, with Goulet and Sprong and uh, Pabst LaPlante, all those guys, they're still young and they're contributing offensively. Let's take a look at uh, you personally, uh, as far as just away from the rink at this particular point. You you grow up in the southern part of Nova Scotia. Uh, what do you like about as far as uh, an NHL team is concerned or an NHL player? Do you have favorites there? Um, I grew up as an Ottawa fan. My dad's a huge Montreal fan, but uh, I'm not. I don't really. Uh, I'm not a diehard fan for anyone really. But uh, I like watching. Just like watching the game, really. Any hobbies past uh, when you leave the rink? Uh, yeah, in the summertime, I do a lot of golfing, but. Uh, and there were times I just like hanging out with my friends and uh, going to movies and uh, just taking it easy, really. Now, of course, like a lot of young people, you've got a you've got some favorite music as well. And uh, I noticed that reading in one of your press releases that in fact you attended the Cavendish Music Festival this past summer. So obviously, you do like the country music. Yeah, I'm I'm a I'm a big country fan. Uh, that's mostly what I listen to. Um, I, I did I attended Cavendish, seeing Kenny Chesney. That was a pretty cool experience. Now, of course, when you, you do have hobbies and so on, as, as you say, uh, and as well, you like the country music, but I also ask this question to some of the younger players, and you being drafted by uh, an NHL team, and they're a big market team, the uh, New York Rangers. Uh, certainly, when you get that chance to sign that big bonus contract, uh, what's perhaps the, the focus point as far as what you might first purchase with some bonus money? Um, I think it's a pretty easy decision for me. I think I'd buy a big truck, uh, maybe a big GMC diesel or something like that. Yeah, I know that uh, some of the younger players, they like the fast cars and they, they like the big trucks as well. But we just a final question here. Now, of course, the season as we move along, we're at uh, about the third way point of the season. Uh, what are your expectations for this club as we move forward here? Uh, definitely going to keep growing as the year goes on. And, and uh, we're going to have little hiccups like we're in right now. And uh, the key is not to panic. And we have a good hockey team here and we're going to show it. That's Ryan Graves. And, of course, I'm George Matthews. You've been watching Inside the Islanders.